name is Haley Fox. I'm an indoor plant care specialist here at Rogers Gardens. Today we're talking about calatheas. Um, you see them all over Instagram, we all do. They look perfect, you don't see brown leaves, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can achieve that as well. Calatheas are notoriously difficult plants in the plant community, so I'm gonna give you three tips to keep them looking their best. The first thing to consider is lighting. Calatheas are actually a great option for lower light settings. Um, bright light can really bleach out the leaves, and as you can see, they've got a lot of interest and a lot of color. So keeping them away from really bright light sources will help to preserve that. Also, it will help to keep them from drying out too fast, which is one thing that they don't enjoy. It'll lead to a lot of browning on the tips of the leaves. You'll also start to see leaf curl. So make sure that you're keeping the soil moist. Moist soil should not be confused with soggy soil. So maybe wait until it's about three fourths of the way dry to give it a good drink. Filtered water is super important for a plant like this. They're very, very sensitive to all the harsh chemicals in our water. The calcium, the salts all build up on the tips of the leaves and lead to that browning that you don't want to see. So to keep your calatheas looking really good, uh, make sure that you're using filtered water either from a Brita, your fridge, or if either of those aren't a good option for you, you can always just use tap water, but let it sit out for at least 24 hours so some of those chemicals can uh, evaporate before you give it a drink. Humidity is super important for calatheas as well, so keeping them in a moist location like your bathroom or your kitchen would be very helpful. Running a humidifier would be the most ideal, but a really great way to give them an extra boost of humidity is a pebble tray. So if your plant has a uh, pot, I mean has a saucer, you can just go ahead and put some pebbles on there. And then you're just gonna fill it up with a little bit of water. The goal of this setup is to have a basin that's always filled with water, and that water is gonna be consistently evaporating, providing your plant with humidity. One final tip for raising humidity is plant grouping. Plants are constantly releasing water from their leaves through transpiration, so keeping them in a display together uh, just sort of creates a more humid microclimate that's beneficial for all of your plants, especially your calatheas. I hope that you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.